And hello again and welcome to another edition of Jeff's Vlog in the workshop Un here. Unforeseen. Unforeseen edition. Yeah. Because what we're looking at here is your Honda drag bike engine with its new supercharger. That's coming along quite well. And we saw this wheel and tyre last time round, yeah. which you've polished now and painted. And also yeah, what I didn't finish it. Yeah, yeah. And what I didn't mention done. actually last time round, in the last episode, was this wheel here is from an R1. But it has been modified quite a lot because its push drive has been removed and it's got an aluminium plate here that's been welded on. So the whole push drive's yeah. gone and this plate has been welded on here, you can see the welding there. And that's quite a lot of work. And the reason for doing that is what, Jeff? Well, you don't want the cush drive in no, it. on a drag bike. Uh, plus it was sticking out too yeah, much Yeah, it anyway. makes the whole thing narrower. Um, when that was welded on, the casting of that, the thread, when we drilled it to thread for the sprocket, the bolts still do, do go through. Right, all the way So through. the weld isn't taking the full load. No, but even so, if it did, but it's it, it, the, A weld round there on that on a six inch right. diameter, you, okay. you, you, you'll break tyre traction, I think, before oh, yeah, you shear yeah. that. But what was surprising me today when I came in is to find this project bike here suddenly has a different frame, or at least the start of a frame, because you've got a frame already for this, which was, the frame, uh, mm -hmm. which was the frame that came with the original bike from the 80s that you built back in the day, that had to be modified quite a lot originally, it's been cut and shut and painted uh, and, shortened it, yeah. and all kinds of work on it, and yet that frame is now sitting outside unused, and yet we see here what looks to be the start of a new frame. So tell us what's going on there, Jeff. You seem to have taken one uh, step forward and five steps back. This is the problem when you're doing something like this. Mm -hmm. When originally, when I built the damn thing, you only yep. had you only had one thing on the go. You had everything there. Yes. Whereas this, when you're modifying something, uh, there's twenty different yeah, things you got to think it about. It originally had the astrolite in. Yes, that's not uh, sorry, the rear wheel that is. Yeah, it, that's a seventeen, but an eighteen. But the tire, virtually the tire diameter, was probably just say halfway at arc. Okay, it was half so that the tire was next to it, it looked like a roll very, of insulation. A, a very narrow to tire. Out. Yeah. So you had it on an 18 inch rim, rim, but the tire itself was very low profile. Yeah, but the frame was set up with three and a half inches of ground clearance. Okay, and now that wheel's gone and you've fitted a 17 inch wheel. The reason being that you can no longer buy <sighs> the 18 18's inch tires, you know, yeah. it's not available. Well, you can get 18s, but they're not the original right. uh, slicks like they used to do, they don't make them anymore. Okay, but they do make 17s. Yeah. So here we've got a 26 by da -da -da, 17, da -da -da. Mm -hmm. you can read it on there. And what you found it seems is that this tyre is a hell of a lot taller than the original. When I put it in, the original mm -hmm. frame, it lifts, it, 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 with calculations, mm -hmm. it lifts, it, the engine will be five inches off the, off the ground. Which, which is, is a hell of a lot. Which is what you want for a road bike, but not for no, a drag bike. No, if you had a bike with a swinging arm, you could lower and up and you could yes, you play can. around with the struts and probably yes. get away with it, but unfortunately... With a hardtail you can't. This is something I didn't realise. Okay, so having now fitted that new wheel and tyre, you've realised you've got an issue. So how high do you want the, t the uh, engine to be off the ground? Well, that, that, at the minute, it's sat on four inch blocks, mm -hmm. but there is a sump to go on it, mm -hmm. which is probably half inch thick. With the drain, so up. about three inches. So up there. Yeah. ideally, that will be okay. Mm -hmm. um, so because of this tire, that's cautious the, the to rethink the new profile of the tire. To rethink the whole bike yeah. and to build a brand new frame. Well, but by the time I mean, there was a few things on it that I was unhappy with. Yes, that's there's a few thing. bits of bracketry and things yeah, that look yeah. a bit. Yeah. In fact, just a second. I, we'll just go outside. I was, I was second. never very happy. with Let's it. just go over here very quickly. There's the old frame, and that was made back in the day. Yeah by a very young Jeff back in the 80s. 87? Yeah, and it's been modified Eight, since then. 88 yeah. maybe. When you got it back, you actually shortened it at the front end. I did, I, I, it, it has actually been cut somewhere yeah, around yeah. here. Shortened it and then widened and, it in the back. And, and slugged them, yeah. To, to take the uh, wider back end. But it is a bit of a, I mean, okay, it's got history to it. But well, because we had a bigger it. sprocket on it. Oh, you had to cut that as well. Well, I cut the tube out and I've never liked that. No. no. So instead now, uh, you can pull the tubes out and then come. All the way back. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, a reason for having to rethink the frame. And to be honest, it might end up being a, a bit of a blessing in disguise because you end up with a, a better frame. Yeah, there's a, and there's a few wrinkles on there that yeah, it's been, it's been dented and bent. It's, it's been okay abused. Abused. Okay, so let's go back inside. Da -da 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 -da. 
Okay, so we're back again, and you're just saying, Jeff, that you're going to use the front end, the whole front end of the frame, the old frame, mm -hmm. on this new frame. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to cut that old frame in half? Literally, I'll cut it where it was slug before and, and attach it to this. Oh, right, okay. So it's going to be a bit of a yeah. hybrid. Mm -hmm. So I've just. Um, that's going to go like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that whole back end. Does, I mean, does where look it was better. square originally there, I've gone to round. Yeah. Uh, origin, you know, and then. It, but it's all 16s gauge. That's actually chrome molly, them pieces. Yeah, see, so it says it's a yeah. 4 30. Yeah. So. Good quality stuff. Oh, it's good. It's. Uh, expensive stuff. It's expensive stuff, yeah. But you had some, so we're going to use. It's probably about 30 quid in that length alone. Yeah, yeah chrome molly is good. 30 quid at least. Okay, so. Uh, the the, the, the uh, other thing is. What, what we wanted to do, now that we've gone back mm -hmm. to here, yeah. the plate that we've made for the supercharger, yes. I can put a mount in there, mm -hmm. it's bringing a mount in for the back here. Yeah, because you made that plate to yeah. match the the back end of your yeah. frame, and that frame's now different. Okay, if I put the lug here mm -hmm. off this plate, if you put a spacer straight through, it hits the chain. Mm -hmm. Which is no good. So ideally, that it, it could have done with being about an inch taller there, but unfortunately, it's not. Well, could you not just the, the only thing make, I can do? Make a, could you not make a plate to bolt to this thing and then raise it up? Uh, what I can do is actually, uh, I could put a bolt through from the back, yeah. put a bracket. Yeah, just drop your arm down. And a, sm and a small way. piece up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you don't want to remake. I don't that. want to be remaking no, no, all no. that. No, no, no. Um, no. But that just shows you where mm -hmm. you, 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 you fit a different tyre, and mm -hmm. that means the whole back end of the frame's got to change, and it, that in turn means that it this is going to change. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, what, 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 if if it had left it where it was, it's quite tall. The last thing you want with something like this is it to you want to get your weight low down. Yeah. Plus, when you've got your tank with that being lower down, you've got a better fuel. Yes. Delivery. Yes, of course. Yeah. If, you, if well, that's more, too high, it's more stable if it's lower, it's, isn't it? And it's lower. It's more stable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I sat there the other night and I thought, right, it's got to happen. Get some chrome molly out. But get to, some bending. Literally to modify that and just move the two pieces. It, it's more work. It, than, it's yeah. more work yeah, yeah. than just. It's yeah. easier to do this and then just join it back mm -hmm. there. Cause and, did, and did you already have these pieces? I'd, I'd made them up because oh, I'd right. made some for. Uh, okay, so you made some. Yeah. Okay. And I also see you've now shaped this piece here. I've got to bolt that on, it's just resting there at the minute. It's right. just so I can get me... Yeah, I mean we saw that uh, last time round and that was yeah. just a big square block. Yeah. So now you've shaped it up. Yeah. I, sh I should have really, these plates would have been ideal if they'd have been another couple of inches bigger. Yeah. But well, at the time... Well you live and learn don't you? Well what I can actually do is bolt... Well, something else to it. Is thread this yeah. and down and actually bolt another piece to it. Oh, it's a fraction heavier, yeah, yeah. but I'm not going to be making all no, that again. No, no. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what, 10 mil is it, or half an inch? That's 10 mil. So that's plenty of things yeah. you have to bolt something to. It's yeah. very, very strong. It's too strong, really. Oh, overly engineered, I reckon, so. Mm -hmm. I think there's plenty of um, meat on there to work with. Okay, so. so if I, like you say, where's me? These are a couple of lugs. When them lugs are in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are your lugs for the frame. Let me just zoom yeah. in a little bit. Let I've, me just just got a, I've got a radius on them. I've just mm -hmm. drilled them. Yeah. When they're, uh, when they're welded on. Mm -hmm. I can uh, I can make a piece to mount from to, there. I can yeah. put a screw in it there and have it there. So if it comes up, I can then run a spacer across to join a piece to that. of plate there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's very it's. It, well, you've got to work with what you got. You've got to work with what's available, haven't you? So, uh, so it'll work. That's the main thing. It'll it'll work. Okay, it'll work. Okie doke, and what else have you been up to then this last few days? Not much uh, I guess, because you've been busy I've doing this. Your hub. Oh, you've well, seen my hub. Machine, isn't it? That sounds good to me. Let's yes. have a look at that. Okay, so here's that wheel we were just talking about. This is the front wheel of my old drag bike that Jeff made a few years ago. And it originally was built with just one disc on the front with some blanking plate on the other side. Um, but having said that, even when we made it, it was drilled on this side, on, or rather both sides, to take a disc if need be. So what I want to do is actually go with twin discs now as so I want to reuse this wheel on a different project. And so Jess will be making a matching mount to um, fit a second disc to the wheel. And now here we are on the workbench and there's my first original, the original one, yeah. uh, disc mount. And here's the one you've started. 
You said that's that was a big it, I've had to drill it into a, a, a circle. Into a well, more or less a circle. I've yeah. put a man a bolt through it with mm -hmm. a stub on it, and yeah. then uh, I've got it now to the same diameter. So that's now it. I can put the external jaws in yeah. and start machining um, the recess. Yeah, yeah. It's actually been bored in at the back to come over the hub a bit. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and they're going to be made to fit the twin um, the twin discs. Yeah, discs which, got, which are from a Jigsaw. K4, I think it was, K5, uh, 1000, which actually I was given, would you believe? Because somebody changed their discs to some new ones and they're perfectly okay. Just not cool enough, I guess. So, yeah, well, there's a disc to go with it. Can't argue that, brand new. Well, not brand new, rather, but certainly as, free. They're as new, aren't they? Yeah, as new and free, so can't argue with that. Um, yeah, so that's going to be something that's be happening soon. Yes, yeah, so there's progress so far this week. That. Okay, here we have a visitor to Jeff's workshop today, and it's a GPZ, well it was an 100 R. Uh, 1984, yeah. uh, GPZ 1000, uh, sorry, 900 R, uh, 1000RX engine in it. Right. Um, with a turbo on it? With a, uh, a blow-through turbo, um, an inadequate radiator, yeah. and hasn't got the old cooler filtered, if fitted yet, okay. but it was... And you've obviously got a modified clutch as well. Yeah, uh, clutch cover came from a guy called Dave Dunlop. Okay. And if you take that off there, you'll see underneath there's uh, a lockup unit. Right, okay. Um, front forks are ZZR 1100C. Yeah, look familiar, I've got some. Uh, oh. Takiko 6 pot, so nothing exciting there. You've got um, your uh, James in the back. JM, uh, James. Wheels are. Uh, Back wheel is again an 1100C, ZZR 1100C. The reason you use them is it's a fairly simple swap on them. Yeah. The JMC swinging arm I got done years ago. Mm -hmm. um, the ride height adjusters. Right down there, yeah. That one's left handed thread. Oh, that's useful to know. Yeah. That one's right handed thread. Oh, and dear. there's lock wire. So that if the lock nuts back off, it doesn't adjust itself for me while I'm riding. Yeah. Yeah. But the advantage with having left and right handed thread, it means if you undo it shouldn't that, back itself off, yeah. then you don't have to remove. A lot of people, you've got to okay. take that off, okay. wind it out or in, mm -hmm. then measure it, yeah. and then fit it back on. That okay. way you can do it in, I'd say seconds. Okay. And if we go around to the side quickly, da -da -da, before um, you zoom off in the rain, yeah, what it's else a very is, wet day. Yeah, what else? You've got is, your boost gauge there. Yeah, boost gauge just. Pretty naff wire in there, lad. You want to improve that? Oh yeah. Well, well again, this is uh, this is finest zip tie engineering. All oh, right. It's a science. tubing. Yeah. Um, that's bunged in, and then it's to the right. side for that. Because now um, you were saying this is actually not your sort of main custom or main turbo bike. You've got no, another one. No, the main t the this was a, a test bed. Is it? Being polite. Yes. It's a lash together. Um, I'd like to draw your attention just to two stickers. Yeah, go on. Well, this is the first one. Not only will this machine kill you, you will be in agony the whole time before you die. Yeah, know, quite and the other one, which kind of sums up this bike, made, made from genuine, genuine scrap. scrap. Well, it, I think it's, it's a bit better than that. Look. It's all bits and pieces, and it's still... Um, this, by the way, I'd like to point out, this is actually genuine... Real mud. A genuine Isle of the Man, man mud. TT muck, yeah. Um, it's practice week mud. Um, which makes it more valuable than oh, yes, ordinary sure. mud. Ordinary mud yeah. But no, it, it's a fun toy. Um, and how's it, it go? When was it run okay? Has it run better than it? Oh, it, 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 the feel weird, the boost it comes in. Yeah, the weird thing is, is that oh, let me come. Most it people, yeah, most people, when they talk about turbo bikes, they say it's an on-off switch or it's yeah, yeah. like an old uh, old two-stroke kind of thing. Yeah. The thing that you, funnily enough, um, come across with that most of all is the torque. You get to five thousand RPM. It pulls. And it just pulls very, very smooth. I mean, it's a small. So the engine is pretty standard, and you've not loaded compression or anything. No, I have. Um, oh, you have. Yeah. Uh, I spent several nights drinking vodka. As you do. Um, as you do. Calculating, and uh, that base gasket doesn't look much thicker, but the ga uh, but the compression ratio has been dragged down from 10.2, which is standard for a thousand RX yeah. engine. Yeah. Um, it's been taken down from 10.2 to 9.5. That's still quite high. For well, a turbo bike. well, it depends on what you're doing. How I much boost do you get? When I was a kid, mm -hmm. nine point, uh, nine and a half to one 
on say a Triumph Bonneville, hey that's quite good there. Yeah. These days people talk about oh, 11, uh, yeah. 11 and a half to one and it's... Oh, yeah. more than that. <laughs> but yeah, and 11 and a half one's considered to be low for a yeah. modern yeah. Japanese bike. And what turbo is it on there? Uh, it's a, t a Mitsubishi TD04 mm -hmm. um, and it's the 14T, so it's only a small turbine on it. And what did it come off? Did it come off a car, did it? Uh, yeah. Uh, quick shout out to a guy called Pete Field. He's mm. based, he used to be up in Wrexham Way, I think mm. he's now moved, uh, but you can find him on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, drag racer, he did a fair bit of the welding and so on and so forth. The turbo manifolds and yeah, so on. I mean, yeah, I mean. All this stuff was it was done by Pete, yeah, yeah. Um, and he's a nice guy and dead easy to work with. He normally deals with Suzuki's, mm -hmm. so if you want a, uh, a blower on a Bandit, yeah. well, so, don't. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's a general thing. If you, if want, you did, if you wanted to put a blow on yeah. a Bandit, then phone yeah. Pete because he's handy and his stuff pretty good and yeah. it, it's fit and forget kind of stuff. Yeah. This one, the problem tends to be is there are very very few people who've stuck a turbo onto one of these no, bikes. No. And so you're having to make up things and you. trial and error. Yeah. Nobody sort of makes a kit for them, I don't think. No. So. And the worst problem you get is um, the internet and experts. You know, actually know nothing. You've never it? come across it, I know, but everyone's got an opinion. Oh, yeah. Um, and they'll talk absolute junk. Yeah. And you can end up following the wrong, Absolutely. wrong thing. Yeah. It's a fun toy. Um, it goes well. Um, but yeah, okay, so we'll just here you go, and then uh, we can get back inside, and I can drink some more tea. What's the it, What's the bet now it with an start. audience that it'll be bump start time? Okay, so let's see if it starts. Got a slight problem hot starting, but hopefully we'll be okay. Like hot start. Yeah. I don't like hot start either. No. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, Jeffs, here we are back in your workshop again, and I see you've been busy with this end case piece, which Just you saw last time. Bit, yeah. So this was the piece that had lots of holes in it last time we came round, yeah. and now you shaped it. It's yeah, and it's been bolted on. Ooh, yeah, a bit of seal still on there. Make sure yeah, that's, you uh, can see that. We've, see that. we've actually countersunk it and yeah. gone right round. It's probably more than it needed, but. Mm -hmm. well. So if we now get your supercharger out, if you drag that over here, we can see how it looks. Yeah. And well, also I've, had to, I've had to actually, I've had to extend the brackets. Yes, let me just um, refocus a second. Changing the frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've zoomed out a little bit and we can see the whole thing now. So yeah, you've now shaped that out and I take it this is the piece that's going to go on the frame. Yeah, because uh, we're going to move the lugs. I've got to come high up with the lug. Yes. I can use, it's, it's worked out better. Mm -hmm. I, I was going to make, I thought, should I do all this again and add it on the plate? But oh, that's a lot of work. To be honest, it's... For the, uh, for that touch. Right, looks okay. Looks okay. Okay, a little interruption there for tea. Um, yes, that's not bad. You've got your little brass bolts in there now. Plugs. Plugs, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. And so that's going to go on the other side. Mm -hmm. And one more thing we should say is, of course, that you've decided you had to remake the whole back end of the swing arm. Sorry, of the um, frame. It because the yeah. rear wheels now lower down that used to be the rear tyres um, much Well, it much was taller. usable, but then the engine was like nearly five and a half inches off, off the, the deck. Ground, which is too much. Which is, it's, it's too much no. and it looks... Wrong. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go and have a look at that and see how far you've got with that yeah. back end. Have we not seen our bracket yet? Oh yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah we can put the bracket. That's, so that's all done. So, last time we saw this, mm -hmm. that was just a big blank that's square. Good. That's got to go on there. Yes. Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. in focus. For that, a change. We're on there. Once it's all bolted to the back, once we've got our new frame on, I can work out the positions of these. I can so actually make the lugs for the frame to match. Bolt them with spacers to that, and then and, tack. And then you're away. Yeah. Tack them to the frame when it's all in situ. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. But, and of course, you've also got your little adjuster here. Yeah. This is your belt tensioner. Yeah. That's ready to rock. Well, the spigot size for the snout is that. Yeah. And, and when I've, when I've machined the snout, it's got to be that diameter. 
so that that fits on it and then yes, you can, can switch yeah you can swivel it yeah you can swivel it to tension, tension the, belt. the belt yeah 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 okay it's looking pretty good so that will basically like say the loop that goes on there like and that goes on there like that yeah looking pretty cool so yeah, some yeah. Like that. a lot of hours working that lad. Mm -hmm. There is many hours working okay. it. Okay. Okay. And with that, let's go have a look at the rear of that frame. Okay, so we're back looking at the bike itself. You can look at the back end in. As we said last week, the whole point of doing this is because this tire is much taller it's, than the old 18s. The, the original was probably there. Yes. Yeah. And that there has given you that. It, it's lifted the engine far far too much. Yeah. It, too well in my too mm, much too much so you remade this whole back end yeah and brought this inch and a half up up yeah and you were saying rather than remake the whole frame what you're going to do I'm is gonna to actually, chop the original yeah, frame off at the and, front and then just yeah, connect yeah the front to this new back end is that right yeah okay okay so we just quickly put that supercharger and it's just rest cases. it's just nipped in with one bolt roughly where it's going to live the, yeah it's well and then you've enough. got your well when bracket. that that will actually go in there on there wherever the hole is yeah there it is the counter sinks yeah that's fine yeah i'll just i'll just leave it resting yeah. there for a minute it won't and then you need to make a bracket here well i can put a tab on the top here one to there okay. and a tab off here mm -hmm. to that one and the same on this side as well no, well that side will be the same it'll have a bottom one yes off the i'm trying to pick up off the rear engine mount mm -hmm. yeah um yeah yeah i'd like to keep the two mounts here the same but that then means making another bracket that side yeah oh it's all swings around about uh, isn't it so it's looking pretty good uh, so far so there uh, we've got a tab coming off here the engine yeah. the original engine plate goes that bolts to that which mm -hmm. is and then the spacer will come across somewhere about there, which yeah. will just clear the chain. Yeah. Well, hang on. You hold that there, and I'll just get this. This will give us a rough idea where the chain goes. That's more or less. There's your chain. It, it could be a fraction higher than that. Well, I see you've marked it there not, as well. Yeah. But basically, it's going to be. Yeah. I think about there. Yeah. I mean, it might just hit it as you back off, but apart it, from that. Well, it, it's on. No, it, actually, when you back off, it'll drop. Yeah. It's, when, it's when you put the power on, yeah, it it'll pull it taut. Yeah, it mm. it. yeah. Okay, anyway. And so. you were saying over there, if you go and get your levers that you've just been working on, you've just been busy making more oh, I made foot a, levers. I've, I've just made a couple more. Yeah. But. And we've got a few of these, haven't you? Because yeah. these are like the ones I've got on my Norley. Well, they're the originals. All oh, right. Is that what you made back in the day? Yeah, that oh, was well. all hand filed out oh, that, yeah. and yeah. hand drilled. And why don't you want to use them again? Just oh no, I'm going to use them again. Okay. I just made some for the all the, the 500. Oh, if okay. Then. But what I was, what I was doing, I was making uh, them bits up because these oh, the, are going to be machined. Yeah. Originally, that was an aluminium piece with a couple of screws on it. Yeah. And, and it, it was back a bit. with a bit of grease on it. Yeah. And it worked. It worked. But what I want to do now is put a bearing in them. Oh, so right. everything. Yeah. Is very smooth. It, it, it is smooth. Yeah. Okay. Cool stuff. That goes in there like that. Yeah. Well, it will do anyway. Okay. So they, they've got to be machined. Yeah. A actually, what I can do with them is once they're done, it might be worth it just getting a small, a, a small blob of weld put on because they're yeah, not actually as yeah. long. They'll be moving with it. Mm -hmm. So I think a trip to the welders and just yeah, yeah. get so Jeff, just get Jeff to put say a couple of little of half inch yeah, just runs tabs on it. Yeah. yeah. Just just to hold them on. Okay. Okay, so we've come round the other side now. I've taken the camera off the tripod, a bit wobbly, but you can see how that end of the supercharger will look. Obviously that plate's all got covered in um, engine blue. blue well, that's got to be milled and shaped and, and, shaped, and yep. that'll have a few old. I, I, I'm trying to keep it technical, but looking like it It was, did in 1985, yeah. But looking like you've made it. It's yeah. been made yeah, in... It's been made in the shed. It, well... A very nice shed, but yeah. a shed. it's been handmade, yeah. basically. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll come back next week and we'll see um, how things have progressed. Yeah. So until then, I think we we'll have it there. And the blower case as well, if, if people have noticed. I've actually milled down the webs. Oh, yeah. So well, they're shorter now. All oh, right, yes. I, w I went round with the little 45 degree angle cutter and okay. I had to blend them in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, but yeah, it yeah. looks. It does look better. It looks a lot better, that. Okay, it let looks uh, old fashioned. Let's just zoom in on that then. Okay, so we've zoomed in, so it might be even more wobbly, but now you can see how those webs have been machined back. 
and you can just see a line there, can't it, you? That's when it? the cutter come round. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks really nice actually. Like when, you, when you're actually working on the rotary tables, just mm. keep setting up and moving. Mm -hmm. you, no, to, no. to end up having everything no, it flowing look, perfectly. It does look a lot better, I think, yeah. It, so why is... There is a few little move. nicks and knacks here, but... Oh, it's handmade, mate. Doesn't the matter. thing is, that's the machining that is decorative. Mm -hmm. It's not the critical parts, like know, for your bore centres and your know, rotors and all that. It looks cool, that's the main thing. Yeah. It looks cool. Okay, and with that, we'll leave it here. This video is going to be quite long as it is. And uh, we'll come back next week and see how things have progressed. And so until then, yeah. thanks for watching and cheers.